This is Jordan Maliata. He is the only active player to switch from rugby to the NFL. And let's just say he's pretty good. He was the first player I added to this all rugby NFL team. If you are real supporters of the channel, you know a while back I dropped a video putting XFL players in Madden and I failed. So I wanted to up the stakes and if I lose this video, I have to eat a mayonnaise sandwich. Bro, this smells so bad. Oh, ugh. White people eat mayonnaise sandwiches. This, this what the f be going on? And I am not trying to eat no mayonnaise sandwich, bro. So we gotta win this playoffs. Our first game is against the Dallas Cowgirls. And this is not gonna be easy, bro. Look at our team. Look at our overalls. We are trash. Yes, every single player on this team plays rugby. Take our boy Ant Dupont, for example. He's the running back on this team, and he's known as one of the best rugby players in the world. Watch this. Get off me. Ha <laughs> ha. Yee hee. And he gone, bro. He is gone. Another player I want to introduce you to is Eben. And this dude is a menace to society. This man is an active NBA young boy listener. Because look at this, bro. He over here smacking people in the face. Pushing them, shoving them, his shirts ripped. He all up in people's grills. This man is like the Draymond of rugby. But look at this, bro. He's a tight end. Look at the way he moving, fighting for yards. And he is six foot eight, 258 pounds. Definitely not the dude you want to mess with on the field. And the final player I want to introduce you to is Jacquez Berger. And listen, I know he does not look like a Jacquez. He, he kind of looks like a Jake. But bro, this dude will lay the wood. Pause. He is smacking everybody, oh. anybody that is on the field. He has 99 tackle, 99 hit power. But now that you guys know a little bit about our team, it is time to go against the Cowgirls in our first playoff matchup. Listen, if there's one thing I don't want to do, it's losing to the Cowgirls in the playoffs. But this is not going to be easy. Listen, our man coverage, our zone, our defense is absolutely terrible. So we got to do what we can. And Dak Prescott is doing the same thing. He's getting short passes and getting a ton of yards after the catch. I mean, things are not looking good. Not looking good. Dak Prescott's hype. That's what I do. Our defense is looking like trash. We need to turn things around. And there we go. A big no! He dropped it! How? How did Russell drop that? Bro, that was his! Look, second and ten. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Make a play. Come on, Colissi. That pick would have changed the game, but here we are in the red zone. Third and four. CD Lamb wide open, and the Cowgirls score first. We gotta get this offense on the field. Come on, Capuzo. I mean, I'm going to this morning. It's from no. No. Now, keep in mind, not only do I have rugby players, but I actually have to play like rugby is played. For instance, I'm going to be doing a lot of option plays. And that's exactly what we do to start things off with green grass in front go, of us. Go, go, go. Let's go, Sevilla. Yeah, I'm going to be pitching the ball back even for like wide receivers. Let's say a wide receiver catches the ball. I'm going to try to pitch it. And this offense is going to be so fun because of this man right here. Van Deer Flyer has got them wheels, bro. That is our quarterback, bro. Look, that dude cannot throw the ball, but he can't run with it. <laughs> and I'm going to be showing you one of the glitchiest plays with this rugby offense. Right, basically what I do is I run out and then I pitch it. And if we can get our running back open on one of those, he could take that to the crib. And so far, I'm feeling very good with this offense as DuPont breaks free for a huge game. Okay, DuPont. And listen, DuPont is the number one rugby player in the world, man. So I'm looking for him about every single play. And right when I thought everything was going well, we do an option and the defense just straight up snags it. No way. How did that even happen? He caught the pitch. And just like that, we lose all of our momentum and hand it to Dak Prescott in this Cowgirls offense. There is nothing that we could do to stop Dak Prescott. He was throwing dot after dot after dot deep down the middle of the field, and they are officially in the red zone. We need to stop them. That's what I do. And ask, and you will receive. We finally get Dak Prescott to throw an incompletion, and we might have hope. Second and goal with a few seconds remaining before the second half. We need our defense to lock in, lock up. We need something. Dak Prescott throws off the back foot. That's our old lineman. And I am in complete shock. Our old lineman gets an interception at cornerback. What? what? Bro, that's an old lineman. What is he doing at cornerback? What just happened, bro? And we officially have two seconds on the clock. We would need a miracle to score right here. I'm not expecting it, man. I'm just going to hope for the best. We run an option as usual. Dupont catches it. Oh, no way. Break a tackle. Come on, Dupont. He's going to bring it all the way to the end zone. 
What just happened? No way! No way! On the pit! Come on, bro! Come on! Let's go! Bro, there was two seconds left. Two seconds. Bro, watch this ball. It hits his shoulder pad, he catches it, and then just cribs that bitch. And after this DuPont touchdown, this definitely changed the momentum for the rest of this game. We start out the third quarter kicking a field goal. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it done in the red zone. And to keep things short and simple, Dak Prescott was not happy with that. He throws a dot, almost gets sacked for a first down, and he's not done. Throws another one to Ferguson, their tight end, for another first down. And it just seems like, again, our defense might not be good enough for the NFL. Dak Prescott rolls to the right, throws across the field to CeeDee Lamb for his second touchdown of this game but it is not over cue the hype music we're handing it off to dupont trying to find some space unfortunately gets met at the line of scrimmage but we're handing it back to him we're trying to drain this clock dupont picks up a couple he's becoming one of my favorite pieces on this team i really want to build around him. and we are just draining this clock vanderflyer rolling to the right we're gonna see what we can pick up with him tiptoeing down the sideline for the first down oh that is just too clean and look at vanderflyer man pushing the defense he playing like he got beef with him on second and goal with about 38 seconds remaining we run a little option dupont sees an opening juice breaks his ankles gets in the end zone and it looks like this team has made history there's only 31 seconds all our defense has to do is hold the cowboys <clears throat> i mean uh cowgirls but dak prescott is not gonna let that slide he does not want to lose to this rugby team there this would ruin his legacy he's throwing a dot and it looks like they are in field goal range eight seconds remaining it all comes down to this if they make this field goal we may be going into overtime and i don't know if this team can hold on any longer we've gotten so lucky to this point and the cowgirls miss it there is no way the cowgirls miss a field goal and lose another playoff game man it is too good to be true how does that even happen? Like, uh, and before you go in the comments, talk about I'm playing all rookie. No, we got the dub, okay? We beat the Cowgirls in the playoffs, and we are moving on. And our next game is against the Lions, but we have to do something before that. And because of our historic victory, we get to spin the upgrade and power-up wheel. Now, this wheel is going to help this rugby team improve so much, and we get... King of the wheel power up. That is amazing. The king of the wheel power up means that we get to select whatever we want from the wheel. One thing, honestly, I have to go with the 90 overall upgrade. What that means is I get to pick one player and boost three stats to 90 overall. And the three stats that I'm going to upgrade for our quarterback, one being throw power, we're boosting that to a 90. Medium throw accuracy and deep throw accuracy, just in case we have to throw that ball deep at the end of a game. That makes him an 85 overall the best player on our team but were those upgrades enough on van Deer flyer to get us another win in the playoffs the lions are a good team though but you know who's better not us bro we are not better it's like, I lied, bro. Mommy, i'm not scared better. but we do have more heart you see that bro after that big play the lions and jared goff are trying to get things going on offense because they do not want to lose in the playoffs again how is he still alive <laughs> Gosh, get him, get him, get him. Bro, if we win this game, my next upgrade is definitely going to be on defense because we need it. What a play. That was insane. And so far, our defense is surprising me against the Lions. And Jared Goff overthrows the wide receiver. That's a fourth down. And we are going to be getting this ball. This is beautiful right here. This is exactly what we need. All right, give me the ball, bro. And of course, after getting all of those throwing upgrades on Van Der Flyer, we got to lob this up to DuPont. He's wide open, and he comes down with it. Go ahead, DuPont. Go ahead, DuPont. He's going to do it all. He's going to do it all, bro. He's got the team on his back. This man, DuPont, is the Superman of this team. He's doing everything for us. We're going to hand it off to him. He's going to try to find a hole in nothing. This is when things go wrong. We try to run a pitch, and it's a fumble. But what's worse than one fumble? Two fumbles. We do this back-to-back -back plays. Again, bro? Again. And unfortunately, we have to settle for a field goal on 4th and 22. But we do make it. And so we take the lead. And back on defense we go. Jared Goff has all day in the pocket. We got some pressure. Throws off his back foot. How? How? And I'm not going to lie. I thought we had a sack right there. But they hand it off to Gibbs. And he picks up about a few yards. But here on 2nd and 7, Jared Goff 
overthrows the running back. Let's go. Jared Goff is trash. Jared Goff is trash. It is third and seven. We need this stop. Jared Goff. Ooh, let's go. Jared Goff is selling right now, bro. He's missed so many open wide receivers. And look, they're punting again, bro. What can I? Hey, thank you, Detroit. Look, y'all, we need to tee up on offense. Wow, look at all this space. We're going to throw it back to DuPont. Set a block. No, we could have had such a huge gain right there. We're looking for DuPont to carry us to the promised land, but we're going to get tackled, and there's a flag. And it is holding. That is the last thing we needed. And now Vandier Flyer drops back in the pocket, hit as he throws. Ah. Look, don't ask questions. We got to punt them the ball, bro. They, they put up a good defensive stand. What can I say? I mean, that holding penalty kind of pushed us back. But we're going to give them the ball with about two minutes left. You heard the man. Two minutes left. Our defense has to play good. Jared Goff throws a deep ball out of bounds. What is happening? We're going to win this game because Jared Goff doesn't know how to throw a football. Third and eight. Jared Goff needs to make a play. He has so much time in the pocket. Dumps it off. Oh, that's a pick. That's literally a pick. Please. And the Lions are forced to punt the ball once again. And this is just a punt fest. This is the most boring game I've ever watched. But look, as long as we get the dub, I'm going to be happy for this rugby team. And we start out guns a-blazing. We throw a deep ball to Mbappé, and he's running with it. He's trying to get a touchdown. Go. Go ahead. Break a tackle. Come on. But right after this, we got hit with back-to-back sacks for two losses. And we were forced to punt. But I had something up my sleeve. We're faking it. Throws it deep. No! He had him! No way! We had him, bro. That might have been a dumb decision because now it all is on our defense. It is the third quarter. This Lions offense does not want to lose to us. I already know. Oh my God, did you just see my dude get smacked? Oh, hello! Good our defense was able to hold the Lions to a field goal, and it is a tie game. But not for long. I'm looking to score right now. We throw a nice little screen to DuPont, and it looks like things are going well. But unfortunately, neither team was able to get any points on the board, and we are going to overtime. We got to capitalize. We got to score. Tails never fails. Never mind. They win the toss, bro. Nah, but on a real note, I recently did cop a Jared Goff jersey because I ran out of toilet paper, bro. Trash. He's trash. Yeah, you thought I got a Jared Nah, bro. Look, bro, I don't know if Sir Jerry the Third can somehow hear me, but every time I start talking stuff, this dude starts throwing dimes. Like, what is happening right now? Of course, in overtime, Jared Goff turns into Patrick Mahomes. What is happening right now? Can we please get a stop on this man? Look, Sir Jared the Third, I apologize, all right? I don't mean it. Look, bro, look, I'm suing. I'm suing Jared. He's been playing with me this whole time, bro. He's been lying. All of a sudden, he can throw the ball. All of a sudden, he's good. Wait, hold up. Nick, let's go. Go, Burger. Go. <laughs> second i thought you were gonna win come on but now our offense needs to tee up and win this game break it please just break one tackle you are a behemoth of a human steward just get over it bro look at him he's tiny this has to be the lowest scoring but most intense game of madden ever yes elizabeth the big man go get off me come on elizabeth That's what i'm talking about but no for real how is this game three to three we're in overtime in the playoffs and we throw an absolute heater let's go 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 let's go time out time out time out but don't get too excited because of course with this team something bad always has to happen we get hit with another holding call how? How do y'all manage to hold every time, bro? Not only that, but we take another huge sack. I keep dropping back in the pocket. And we get sacked. Oh my gosh, bro. And I know what you guys are going to do. You're going to go in the comments and tell me how I need to stay in the pocket. But listen, our O-line is so trash. Second and 36. We throw a deep ball. No! You had it, bro. Bro, man, you had it. And it is third and 36. I'm just trying to get in field goal range. I'm running with Bandier Flyer down the sideline. We pick up a couple, and we have to call a timeout. Fourth and 20, bro. It all comes down to this, bro. Fourth and 20. Like this video for some good luck, because we're going to need it. We throw a deep ball. And he catches it. Let's go. That's why we go for it, bro. Fourth and 20. It don't matter, bro. Game on the line. Come on. And somehow, someway, this rugby team continues the Cinderella story, and we move on in the playoffs. And you guys already know what that means. We get to spin this again for the second time but before we do that go to the comments right now and comment rip to jerry golf because that that's just so sad <laughs> there 
are so many good upgrades on this wheel. We just need one good boost, one good power up, just something, bro. Speed. Okay, this could be good. That means I get to upgrade three players to 99 speed for this next game. So first off, Van Flyer, we could boost to 99 speed. Right now, he's sitting at, uh, let's see. He's at like an 88 speed, but having a 99 speed quarterback would be insane. We could apply it to some of our wide receivers, maybe even our tight end. I know what to do, bro. Elizabeth, bro. Now hear me out, bro. This, this tight end Elizabeth is six foot eight. He is a 71 overall, but this man has very good catching, pretty good acceleration. Bro, that's like a six foot eight Tyreek Hill. Bro, that's nuts. So we go ahead and boost that speed to 99. Oh my gosh what's his overall now and his overall went from a 71 to a 73 our next player we're gonna upgrade is josh van flyer our quarterback i mean he does have decent speed already he's sitting at an 88 speed but honestly him with 99 on those option plays is going to be disgusting so we're gonna go ahead and boost that speed to 99 with 88 acceleration and the third and final player to get a 99 speed upgrade is Look, man, I'm going to put it on Freddy. Freddy has not been making too many plays for us offensively, but I feel like with this 99 speed, instead of 82, this man could get open. And this is our third and final upgrade right before we have to go against the Eagles in the playoffs. And look at this other side of the bracket, bro. The Chiefs are clapping cheap. We are one game away from the Super Bowl. Somehow the Eagles beat the 49ers, and we are going to be playing them right now. Jalen Hurts and this Eagles offense are starting out with the ball. Come on, defense. Defense wins championships, and championships have defense. All right, this, this is what we're doing. Y'all just want to lose. We've come so far. You're trying to put rugby on the map, and this is why we're playing, bro. Look, we need a defensive upgrade. Just look at how many tackle swift breaks. What? Tackle him, bro. Thank you. It doesn't take 30 of you guys. My question of the day is how many rugby players would it take to tackle an NFL player? Gosh, he dropped it. Thank you, Jesus. Third and six. Third and six. This is what we need. In my opinion, I do think there are probably some rugby players out there that could play in the NFL. But right now, how this defense is playing, I don't know if that's true because we cannot get a stop. Jalen Hurts, I do not like you right now. You are definitely not Jerry Goff. You are definitely not Jerry Goff. Let's go. Jalen Hurts looking around in the pocket, sees his tight end. He makes the catch and breaks the tackle. Oh my gosh, open your eyes. Please, bro, make a play. Dallas Goddard, really? That's the man we're, that's the man we're letting stiff arm us, bro. That's who we're letting a, uh, decide if rugby is an actual sport or not we all know what's on the line in this game we lose we get sent home this offense in dupont has to be playing perfect all right stewart has 99 speed so i'm doing a little jet jet sweep whatever this is called to hopefully give him enough space to go Nope. And that play did not work out on third and five. We're looking for the open man. Vander Flyer tries to run and gets tackled. What am I meant to do? Please tell me. What the fuck am I meant to do? With the nerves high, I decide to go for it on fourth down. We're rolling to the right. We try to hit our wide receiver, but Vander Flyer misses him. Jalen Hurts gets this ball and scores a touchdown. And this might be it for this rugby squad. If we wanna come back and win this game, we're gonna need a miracle. And that is exactly right. A miracle is what we need. Van Der Flyer hits Elizabeth with that 99 speed upgrade. Van Der Flyer taking the ball himself, tries to cut to get upfield, and he picks up the first. He got that, he got that first. He got that first, that's all I needed. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be sad if this team loses. I've seen this team grow. DuPont becoming the Superman of a player that he is. And this rugby team somehow finding ways to win these tough games. And Elizabeth, what a catch. He held on to that. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, thank you. What's your cash app? What's your cash app, Elizabeth? Come on, come on, go, 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 go. We got a minute and 35, go, go, go. Elizabeth, you're getting a contract. I promise you. After some big plays, we take the ball up the gut with Van Deer Flyer. Second and six with about a minute remaining. We're going to throw this ball up to Stewart. 99 speed. Let's go. That's what we do. That's what we do. It doesn't matter I'm down 14. Come on. What's your cash app, buddy? We're still down by seven, and Jalen Hurts has X Factor. This is not good. X Factor Jalen Hurts. Can we somehow stop this offense? He's taking it himself. Come on, get the sack. No, he breaks it. Breaks another tackle. Fumble. Please. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Finally. Finally. He fumbles it. Finally, bro. Bro, we needed a miracle and we got it. I got to make the most of this. 
Oh my god. Like I said, we needed a miracle. We got it, Elizabeth. He comes down with it again. Elizabeth, what's your cash app, buddy? You're getting a contract. This dude needs to be on a team right now. 99 speed, six foot eight, please. 30 seconds remaining, hit off to DuPont. Let's go! DuPont with the tutty. And we are in this game. They said we couldn't do it down 14. They counted us out. And somehow, someway, we are back in this game. 25 seconds before halftime. Come on, man. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I am singing about because we still have to stop Jalen Hurts in this offense. We're definitely not going to be stopping him by singing. We need our defense to tee up. Goddard is going crazy. Give me 11 seconds, please, defense. We just need to lock up for 11 seconds. Just 11, bro. I feel like they're going to throw it right here. So I'm going to be right here. Tackle that man. Let's go. There is literally six seconds left. If they make this field goal, I am going to spaz. There is no way. He made that? There is no way. How far was that? Thankfully, we get the ball to start the second half, and I'm coming out guns blazing. I don't care. We got to win this game. We did not beat the Cowgirls in the Detroit Lions just to come this far. I did not come this far to come this far. We got to win this game by any means necessary. Yep, DuPont, gain of five. Look, I like what we're doing right now. I like this. Our offense is running a master class on how rugby should be played in the NFL. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, yes, this is my offense, bro. This is what I like to see. Ain't no way I'm about to let these Eagles get between me and this Super Bowl. At 18, and if you think I'm about to punt it right now, you gotta be out your mind. We throw the deep ball. Oh my God! How? Honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised, but I just figured I'd go for it rather than just giving them the ball. Cause this Eagles offense is making us look like we in the little league. Jeez, bro, we gotta hold them to a field goal right here. Not only do we have to hold them to a field goal, we gotta keep them out of this end zone. This man, Jalen Hurts, is going crazy. Roger, Roger, we need a drug test on number one, bro. Right now, what is happening? We are now down by 10 in the fourth quarter. But one thing I know about this rugby squad is they are not going to give up. We throw the deep ball to Stewart. 99 speed to the crib. Go, go, yes. Yes, okay, that's what we need. All right, man, all we're down is a field goal. There's uh, two minutes left. We're still in this. All we need to do is stop Jalen Hurts in this offense. Please, rugby squad. If this is the game we need to win. We get a tackle for loss. And it is third and five. We get another tackle. Let's go. Let's go. The Eagles are giving us this ball with seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. We have no timeouts. It is all or nothing. Here, Flyer snaps the ball. He's dropping back in the pocket. He sees an open man in the middle of the field. Muscata catches it. He fumbled. You cannot make this up. There is no way he fumbled that. I can't put words. There is no way. I, I'm in shock. I, I don't know how he fumbled that. How? How does he fumble that, bro? Oh, oh, hell no. Oh. All right, let's see what y'all talking about. I know you at home eat this. Bro, this is the last this is the last thing I want to do is eat a mayonnaise sandwich, bro. All right, let's get it. I, got, I just got to take one bite, bro. Just one bite, I'm good. Oh, fuck no. <coughs> y'all need to click the video that pops up on the screen right now. Oh, dude, I can't. Don't forget to subscribe to me, y'all. We are on the road to 100K. <coughs> Look, I know you like it. Take a bite, bruh. Take a bite. Take a bite.